Hello, this is James Corbett of CorbettReport.com, and you're tuned into Questions for Corbett. And one of the most common questions that I've ever received in the history of the website, and continue to receive on a regular basis, the most recent example of which being just this past week, is some version of the question, who are you? Where do you come from? How and why did you come to start this website? Good question. And the simplest answer I could give is to say that I am James Corbett. I was born and raised in Canada. I started the website in 2007 as a source of information on news, politics, and geopolitics, and science, and history, and philosophy, and absolutely anything and everything else that tickles my fancy. And almost everything tickles my fancy, so it's a wide-ranging report that I created to get information out that I thought was not being presented in the mainstream. Now, the question of how and why precisely I came to start this website is an interesting one, and the story doesn't start in Canada. You see, I am Canadian, I was born and raised in Canada, but I don't live in Canada. I live here, in Japan. Now, when you think of Japan, you may think of castles and cherry blossoms, or you may think of giant skyscrapers in crowded urban environments with people bustling to get here and there. But actually, the Corbett Report had much more humble origins. You see, the Corbett Report didn't start here, per se. It started here, in this ratty, old, rundown, cockroach-infested apartment which is primarily populated by university students. Now, I wasn't a university student when I moved into this apartment in 2006. I was a lowly English street teacher trying to make ends meet and trying not to live too far away from the city center. So this fit the bill. But as humble an abode as this may be, it came with a secret magical power. That power is called the internet. You see, it was the first time in years that I had an internet connection in my home and so I made the most of it. I watched documentaries, I kept up with the latest news, and I discovered a lot of interesting information about history, about politics, about society, and science and philosophy that I had never encountered in all my years of public education or all my years trying to stay up with the latest news from the mainstream news networks. And this amazing secret power of the internet not only gave me the power to collect and gather this information, but also to broadcast it to others. It empowered me with a voice. Me, a lowly English teacher in a ratty old rundown apartment on a laptop with a $20 microphone, was able to broadcast my voice to dozens, then hundreds, then thousands, eventually millions of people around the globe. And that incredible empowerment of the average individual has always been the promise of the internet. That promise is that it doesn't take million dollar recording studios and uh, vast infrastructure for communications around the world and satellite uplinks and other fancy technology and equipment in order to get your voice heard. It can start somewhere much more humble. Like here, in my living room, in my home in Japan. Yes, I am a living, breathing testament to the fact that the average, ordinary person really does have a voice that really can be heard around the world by millions of people. It is a remarkable, incredible time that we're living in, something without parallel in the course of human history. But, as even the most information-deprived uh, people out there know by now, this wonderful, remarkable opportunity, this window that we have had, this window of opportunity, is closing as crackdowns are beginning on, in various ways, from outright censorship and banning of voices that are problematic to the mainstream narrative, to more subtle manipulations like search engine algorithm manipulation and things like that that happen behind the scenes. At any rate, that is the story of how and why I came to start this website, and I hope it does inspire others to begin their own journey into exploring how they can put their voice into this mix. Because as I always say, the point is not simply for me to expound from on high and tell people uh, how the world really works. It's for us to work together towards some sort of better shared understanding from our different perspectives. Now, if you are interested in more, even more information about me and my background, I did have a friend of mine here in Japan interview me about my past and my background several years ago. Uh, in a podcast episode that I released called Meet James Corbett. 
Uh, so I will recommend that if you haven't seen or listened to that before. And I've also talked at length about what it is that I do uh, at the Corbett Report in a number of presentations, including one that I gave at the FOSSA conference in Lille, France, back in 2013. I gave a TEDx uh, lecture at Groningen uh, in Netherlands uh, in 2014. And I have also talked about it at uh, Kyoto's Ritsumeikan University. So I will also link those if you are interested in seeing even more about the Corbett Report and how it functions. Thank you for your interest in myself, but more importantly in the website, and even more importantly in the information itself, which is what this is all about. I hope that answers your question.